It's better to see something once than to hear about it thousand times. The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page of the book. Dear Toastmaster, how many of you read more than one page of the book? Quite a few. Definitely being a globetrotter, I didn't want to read only one page of the book. I wanted to read even more. When your childhood is packed with mythological stories like Ramayana, and you have heard a lot about legendary demon king, Ravan, which place comes to your mind first? Any guesses? Uh, it's Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka picture was painted in my mind since childhood, and I wanted to eyewitness it. With full exuberance, I booked the ticket and made sure my passport had validated. Meanwhile, my spouse got work requirement in use. We planned in such a way that we'll visit just, just before our trip, we'll visit to consulate and he's appear for a visa interview. Okay, looks cool. With the thought of happiness of killing two birds with one stone, we reached Chennai. He appeared for a visa interview. Oh my god. Passport. Consulate people kept his passport and they told they deliver the Indian. We made an assumption that we'll get our passport immediately back right after the interview, like we get very quickly. But we were wrong. Good morning, dear Toastmaster and my dear friends. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Life always gives us another chance. Chance. That's called move on. Sri Lanka's plan couldn't stop me from visiting another tropical paradise. Definitely being a wonder. Waterless and pond of island, this was time to visit another island where which we have heard a lot that how our heroes fought and were jailed in Kalapani. The place is Andaman and Nicobar. Andaman Nicobar, I feel, has a costliest air fire within India. Not just flora and fauna and blue crystal clear water attracts visitors, but making use of Best use of MTA also attracts visitors. <laughs> That's why probably you can find more government employees there. But being a private employee, I didn't want it to balloon my budget. I was searching for a best offer and landed in one such. 15k round trip for a couple. Oh my god, I was just in heaven. Usually the airfare alone costs 60k and I got in just 15k. Away from the hustle bustle of life between home and office, pretty checking my phone for text and messages and being pushed to succeed, it was time to relax and philosophize. We boarded our flight and we reached to the capital of Andaman Nicoba, Old Blair. Got settled in a few hours and visited Cellular J, mainly known as Kala Pani, the word derived from Sanskrit. Kal means time or death. Pan means water. This particular place was considered to be the best place or best suitable place to punish independence activists. It was heart-wrenching to even think of spending your entire life in those dark and sunny places. After that place, to cover all other places, we inquired about two, three autos. And every auto guy was quoting the same high price. Being a Bangalorean, we know how the auto guy charge. So we told one of the guys, why you people you can't you charge appropriate way? He told, sir, it's the meter charge and it's an underman. We don't loot people here. Without discussing further and feeling little ashamed, we bought in an auto. And you don't believe that auto guy just didn't took us the spot. He acted as a local guide too. Next, it was time to move towards a, another beautiful island, Hevlock Island, which is very famous for its white sand beach, rather another, and it's one of the Asia's best beach. There we were attracted towards marine life, which is away from Zivian Coast. Sea is very beautiful inside, but same time to scale too. Next, we have headed towards another island, which is which was an administrative headquarters for 85 years before an earthquake arrived in 1941 on Ross Island. The remnants of an opulent past can still be seen there. 
There we found a lady who was able to interact with birds and animals. She named each and every birds and animal. She was calling a cuckoo with the name. Hey, tuk tuk, squirrel with the name. Hey, chotu. As soon as she was calling, the birds and animals were coming towards her. It was hard to believe, but it was happening. We were back from that particular island and now to cover other few places in Port Blair. We hired Otto again. Otto guy. Uh, we were heading towards the beach and then immediately a popcorn seller came and then he requested us to buy a popcorn. Otto guy immediately took out money and then bought popcorn. And I was thinking how it's difficult for a pop auto guy to buy a popcorn of 50 rupees. But he did without a single thought. While offering us, he commented, if we will not buy, how they will survive? Money should rotate, then only everybody can be, leave their life. Hence, we concluded our trip and we are back to Bangalore. The key to unravel is travel. The key to unravel is travel. The travel taught me so many lessons. Sri Lanka plant taught me how why the wealth planning is important. Andaman even taught me many lessons. While bargaining with auto guide made me realize that stereotype assumption is not all this right. Second, human and birds interaction in Havelock Island made me realize that how a beautiful relationship can be created where we find human to human relationship with difficult nowadays. Third, proactiveness of auto guide by offer made me realize how a small sparking thought can make a big difference in everybody's life. Hence, I've learned of many lessons. Life, we travel not to escape life, but love. But uh, life not to escape us. So, are you people ready to unravel the mystery of yourself with your backpacks? I am ready with mine for Maldives.